What's up out there? Back with some more Blast from the Past in Path of Exile. I did not put a video out yesterday because I had nothing really to share. I do have a lot more going on today. So we are at 72 of 115 maps. I actually made it into the red maps yesterday. I think I was at, I don't know, 40 or 50 something yesterday. And I've now pushed a lot further into it today. I've also got the Exarch thing popped up, the Eater thing popped up. I went through and did, I don't know, a couple of the Maven invitations. I the, uh, oh, I can't think of what it's called. Can't think of the name of it, but I did that one to get here. So I've done a whole bunch of bossing type stuff yeah, early on. It's not like anything spectacular. But some early on stuff, and like I said, I've, I've got a whole chunk of the map opened up. So, doing fairly well with this. Now, I did go ahead and do the other Labyrinth run I needed, so I've got Unbreakable unlocked. And <clears throat> for the most part, we uh, the passive tree is almost done. I think, what am I on, level 86 right now, so there's 87, 88, 89. We'll finish these three nodes out. And I don't know where 90 goes. Somewhere in here we start taking on... I thought it was right in here. Not that it makes much difference because I don't think I'm going to get there. Probably this one, this basic jewel socket. I know... Yeah, because there's an endurance charge right there. I know on my <clears throat> main character, I think I'm at level 95. So we're at level 86 right now. 87, 88, 89... 90, 91, 92, I feel like 93, 94, I think those were points there, and I think there was another one taken over here, so that's kind of where the last few points go into, or the last nodes that get selected, so pretty much a lot of that's taken, taken up right now, and looking good on that part, I still don't have a better scepter, but I think I switched my helmet out yesterday. I think this one has a lot more armor. It's got 85 life, plus a little bit of life regen on here and avoid, avoid frozen stun and block recovery, stuff like that that doesn't really make a ton of difference. But it's on here. I also put some implicits on here. We've got the XR implicit of plus one maximum lightning resistance. I, I didn't have enough points to keep going. And then there's the uh, Eater Implicit of Damage Penetrates 4% Fire Resistance. I thought that might help a little bit. And I also applied a couple on here. So we've got Determination has 20% increased Aura Effect. So I do have Determination. And then there's 13% increased Effective Offerings. I don't know what an Offering is. I presume I don't have it for this build, but I ran out of currency. So that's kind of where that one is. And then on the boots, I have 35% increased armor from equipped helmet and gloves, so that bumps that up a little bit. And then another 5% movement speed. So this, I had boots that had 30% movement speed and then changed out to these, which have 25, so I should be back at 30. And then on here, I actually have a minion's deal 21% increased damage, which should apply because there is a passive node up here that increases and reductions to minion damage also affect you. <clears throat> so, that is where we are currently. I am working on this piece of armor. This thing dropped and I, I uh, quality it up. It was like 16 or 6% 6 quality, something like that. I got it all the way up to 20% quality. Like I, it dropped with all of this on it and then I just bumped the quality up to the top. So it's got 494 armor. This thing, plus 77% increased armor, 100, 107 to max life, regenerate 119 life per second, 35% lightning stun resistance, or lightning resistance, and then 17% stun and block recovery. There is one, two, three, one, two, three. So I can't, I cannot craft anything on it. I do have an uh, orb of annulment I could try on this, but I have a feeling it's going to take something I don't want off. And the only thing I, well, I mean, I could get it to block suffixes i suppose but then i would lose that life regen and i i think that i don't want to lose that either 
But 2,591 armor compared to 918, this is a pretty sweet piece of gear. Now, it is a five socket. I spent every ounce of currency I had on the crafting bench down there to get this five socket. And now I need to be able to change the colors of this so that I get three blues and one green. And that is prov proving to be a little bit difficult. That would be for my Righteous Fire. Now, I also hit level 20. Or, yeah, I hit level 20 on my Righteous Fire, so I did the whole trade it in with the Gem Cutter's Prism, and now I have quality of 20%, and I'm leveling this thing back up. So right now, we are doing 75,821 Righteous Fire. <coughs> it could be better, I know, and it was better until I redid that. I think I was, I think I was pulling about 20,000 more than this. It was like 95, something like that. And then I changed the quality, and, and we've gotten here. Uh, Map-wise, let's see here. We have fun to run here. I got a couple of these things. I don't feel like running these right now. Uh, Caldera, Sunken City. Do I want to run that one? Do I dare run this? Because I believe... Actually, I could run this the way it is. I don't have to upgrade this. What I need is that thing there and I want Armala I believe no nope, I believe Armala is in the sunken city all right so I did this map like twice and I'm cruising along everything's cool I did it the first time I'm like crap I think that's the one I need for this chaos damage I, I need to get that for this uh, chaos resistance against damage over time I, I need this and I thought, well, if I'd have known that, I'd have had the Divine Vessel. Then I ran it again, and I'm like, well, shit, I didn't pay attention to what map I was running, and totally missed out on that. So, yeah, I've ran this thing, like, twice now. Uh, honestly, these red maps, now I know these aren't corrupted or anything, and this isn't, like, the full version, but these maps haven't been bad. There's not been a map that I have yet to finish. So, like, there's been maps I've not finished on purpose, like, I've... I've already beaten them, and I was like, all right, you know, fighting whatever monster was there kind of sucked, and I didn't feel like dealing with it, so I just didn't bother, but uh, I do want that for the sockets because I need the currency, but I have not, I have not ran into a map that I could not finish so far, so everything has been running very, very well. I don't know why this thing's showing up like that. Ah, because of the life? whatever I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going uh, so anyway as I was saying I have not been having any difficulties running maps like when I first started this last season this ancestor season like I had some serious issues when I got to red maps like there were some serious problems with what I had going on am I just going the wrong way here I thought I was going the right way. Apparently not. Um. Oh. Uh, okay. I see. I need to cut across here if I can. Can I? Nope. Can't cut across. So I had serious problems. Like I know when I hit the red maps in the uh, this last league start. I know when I hit red maps, it was a giant roadblock. It sucked. And when I hit red maps here, I was like, I was kind of expecting a lot more difficulty. So this build, and I know this build can tank a lot, but I think I have a better understanding of this build now overall. So the even though it's not, why am I running into dead ends? I'm going to go over here. So I think I'm actually running into, uh, I've learned a lot, I think. Let's just say that. And I think I'm, I'm not running into the problems that I was running into before. And everything's going super smooth, like way smoother than it has any right to be. So I haven't really tried any bossing, but I was thinking about it. I don't know where I was in relation to, say, like, uh, like right now, I'm, what, five days into this quote-unquote league, whatever you want to call this little speed run. And I'm up this far, you know what I mean? Like, this is way further along than I was in the la at the start of the last league. I think this was like, I don't know, week three for me. It feels like it was way later into, 
into the whole cycle of things than this. So I see a lot of progress moving forward. You know what I mean? Like I see the progress and that's good. I really like that. I like that I'm seeing uh, a ton of forward progress and not a lot of negative progress. Now I've died, you know, a few times here and there, probably died 20 or 30 times now. Um, 45 died 45 times so I've definitely died a few times and that's yeah it is what it is it comes with the territory but I'm just very pleased that I've made this much progress this fast you know what I mean like for me this feels really good I don't feel like fighting you guys this feels super good it, it feels like a lot of actual uh, I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like I am seeing the benefits of all that, you know, just the working on the different league stuff. Was that one of the ones I needed to be leveled up? It's just nice to see everything up where it's at right now. Uh, come on, die. Okay, so that's basically done. Map boss gains. I don't really want either one of these. You know what? I suppose I could take this. It's not really going to do anything, but we'll take it. What I have not been doing is a lot of the, the tablets or these sentinel things. I've just been trying to work on maps and stuff. I don't know. I've just been kind of throwing stuff on here. I have today and tomorrow, and... I don't know how much I'm going to get done re yet today. I got another video I'm going to do after this, but um, let's go fight this boss real quick. I really don't like this boss fight. I don't like the fact that the spider just runs everywhere. Although it's not on the corrupted version, so it shouldn't be as hard. Eh, we're just melting it off. That's fine. But yeah, I'm super pleased with this. Uh, like I said, I haven't really been having any issues with the fighting. Uh, and this is totally not even really upgrading a whole lot of stuff either. I didn't want that. Like, I got that armor that I could I could get put on. I'm just about to have a better weapon. Oh, come on, just die. Yep, there you go. And I don't want that. I'll take that, though. And that be that. So we come out here, and we grab this, take that, right-click, and bam. Now we've got that. So a little bit of progress. Now, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get this piece of armor on tonight. I have to gather up a whole bunch of chromatic orbs and try to get this thing socketed correctly. There's all the... There's a divination card you can get that does, I can't remember which one it is, and I've got too many of them. It's the sixth link, this one right here. So I need a bunch of these. I can't remember, what, I've got a list that tells me where this drops. I might try to get some more of these and see if I can get that done. But I don't know if I have enough, nope. Did I not click on fragments? Yes, I did. So I don't know that I have enough to, I could do strong boxes, I suppose. Do some maps, I don't have, yeah. I don't have the other stuff. I, I've gotten a few of these, but not enough. So anyway, that is where we are today. And I should check. Nope. Ooh, that's level 20. That's still level 19. I can yank that one off, though. Um, yeah. So super close to getting a weapon upgrade. So anyway, that will do it for this one, and I'll have one more final video after all this stuff gets done, and we'll wrap up the whole series. This has been a fun week. I really like this. I definitely hope Calandra and Sentinel both come into our league. I saw somebody else talking about it, and they were saying the same thing, and I, I like this, and they were kind of wondering if um, GGG was trying to use this as like a test to see 
you know, it, test engagement with it and see if people like it or whatever. And I, I'm all for, I am all for both of these mechanics going to the next league. We do find out the name of the next league tomorrow, I guess. Hopefully they put a whole bunch of details out and we see all that. But uh, definitely looking forward to this next league. And I am very satisfied with the progress I've got on this one. This is basically, I guess I could show you my uh, Atlas tree while we're at it. So I did go ahead and branch off into the Kirok stuff and started going into the mapping section over here. And I like the way this worked. I like all the essence that I'm getting and I'm starting to get all the maps and stuff. I kind of went into the maps because I wasn't sure what else I wanted to go into. So I went into Kirok stuff and I went into the, the, I was going to shaping the skies and shaping the mountains just to pick those up because that gives you more maps and it, it, you know, more quality maps, stuff like that, whatever all it does and gives you the Kirok missions so that he shows up more often. Cause I, I was kind of, I have a glut or I, I don't have a glut of his missions. Like I've only got one I can do right now. And then I start getting halfway leveled up and I don't want to run any of this difficult stuff. What I, what I've been doing is just banking a whole bunch down the side. And when I level up or die, then I just start running all those. And that's why we're at level 86 right now. So I, I'm not sure I'll, I'm hoping to get 90. I won't hold my breath on it, but I'm hoping to get 90. So we'll see what happens. Did I put the right stuff? Yeah, we're still in the right stuff. So anyway, that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.